Hello everybody, this is going to be a reading for September 2020 for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Ryan, and Venus sign. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. I know the energies are really, really tough right now with the full moon energies coming into Pisces. Pisces being your opposite sign, Virgo, a lot of mutable energy in the air. Very emotional when the full moon is in a water sign, especially with Pisces. I myself am really going through it, so I'm really trying to rise above these difficult feelings that keep coming up, and yeah, so let's just get into your reading and to see what is coming up for you in September. Please do check out the video that I posted last week. It's a timeless video. Um... And also your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. You can also reach out if you need a personal reading through my website. And if you want a, um, a bracelet as well, there's a lot of options there that I'm making. And also you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Okay, let's get into the reading. What is coming up for my Virgo? Five of Swords. Oh headaches worries five of the swords is usually a card about a, a message about uh being in a disagreement with other people it's just getting challenging ch it's challenging changes basically fives are about changes but I really do feel like in this card, you see how he's just really worried. And you might be dealing with the cross watcher, the cross watcher of Virgo, who is in this state. A negative mind, mind state, the mindset here with the Five of Swords. And I'm really sorry about the glare. It's just that today is really, really cloudy. So there's no sunlight and I have to use my um, lamp here that's right behind the phone. Ten of Pentacles, worried about your long-term commitment, worrying about your long-term investments. But then we have the world, so something is definitely coming, coming, in, coming to an end. I think it's just your idea around what long-term looks like to you right now. I feel like it's evolved and that's why it's changing and that's why the world card's coming up. It's putting closure to this vision of what your Ten of Pentacles is supposed to look like. Ten of Pentacles being this committed, solid, long-term, stable situation. Whether that's with a family, with children, you know, the traditional, in the traditional sense. Seven of Swords, someone is cloaked, is hiding. And it's been a long time coming here with the Ten of Wands. Something feels heavy, heavy on their chest. of cups maybe it's their feelings are they finally going to take the leap of faith four of cups oh not being exactly satisfied with this relationship not being happy feeling a little bit discouraged yeah there's a little bit of discouraging energy ever since we saw in the Five of Swords, right? Knight of Wands, wanting things to move quickly. The Knight of Wands could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius. It's a very quick, impulsive energy when it does come in, but it feels like in this she's just 
really just in her own world where she's like dancing to the beat of her own drum. Maybe that's why there's maybe a disconnect between you and your partner if you are with someone or you and this idea. But it feels like you move from the Four of Cups to being really, really discouraged and dissatisfied and not happy to the Knight of Wands. So there's like a shift. Yeah, there's definitely a shift. Look at this, Nine of Cups, where now things start to move forward. Now things emotionally start to feel a little bit better. Probably towards the mid-September. Four of Wands, this is, you know, essentially a house or moving into a new home. It's, it's commitments, it's celebrations, it's... It's feeling happy about where we live, that Nine of Cups. Eight of Pentacles, yeah, this is about work also for some of you it did fall on the nine of cups so it's telling me that you're happy you are focused you're diligent in your work and that's what gets you to the four of wands some of you might be moving out on your own as well i do feel that fear yeah, there's some underlying fear, we're afraid. That fear is coming from ch inner child wounds. Fear of being alone. Fear of abandonment, fear of rejection. Yeah, it's definitely bringing up divine feminine issues if you are the feminine watching, or if you're a cross watcher, then you do know that this has to do with the divine feminine. Facing one's fears here in the fall, the autumn. I'm sorry about all the noise in the background. There's so much happening outside. Lessons. The fall brings a time of lots of lessons. Maybe lessons that you've... You know, the lessons... We're constantly learning lessons. But I feel like this particular lesson about overcoming those fears will be you see will be released you're finally going to feel a, a little bit of a release a relief in a sense stuck what are we holding on to this is what the release cards telling me what are you holding on to that's keeping you trapped and it did fall on the Divine Feminine card, right? So what are you still holding on to that's causing all of this fear and not being able to face it with the Seven of Swords, right? We're not facing our fears. We're not facing what's holding us back. I think a lot of you are focused on the relationships, right? The Two of Cups. When my Two of Cups coming? But it feels like it takes a turn here when you're redirected with work and the home first this is helping you work on your inner child wounds here devotion okay interesting You're dealing with another character here, another suitor. Feels like they're reinventing themselves. They're really, really contemplating. They're in a contemplative state. Okay, so it's giving them that time to really focus on themselves. Signs. You've been receiving signs about this. You see how there's two flames in these cards? I'm not sure what that means.
I feel like you're completely devoted to whatever it is that comes up in September. I feel like spirit really gives you a chance to heal and reinvent yourself if this is about you. I feel like there's so much potential here. But it's taking this time to really look at where this grief and the sadness and see it's taking this time, this pause button right here. Looking at your issues with pride and ego. And this could be the person you're dealing with as well, right? Really looking at those things that are preventing us from moving forward. Owning who you are is a part of it, I heard. Just own who you are. Nine of Wands. I feel like once you're able to release whatever it is that's keeping you down and keeping you tied down and trapped, this is the potential. These are the possibilities that come through. And I feel like you're going to be receiving signs of them in the month of September. Everyone is receiving a ton of signs. I think you're the second zodiac. I think Aries got a similar message in their September um reading as well there's a lot of signs that are being given to aries and virgo this month the lilies yeah this is talking about wisdom growing it's time to grow up elderlies peace harmony the lessons come because you need to grow growth comes from these lessons what other messages do you have? Yeah, there's a lot of stress on stress on your mind. That's it. This is the swords, five of swords, stress, headaches, anxiety, mistakes, problems, worries. The cross, praying, spirituality. If you have any words, you need to continue praying. Having faith, your faith can be tested with all these worries. The stars, gosh, as above, so below, right? The astrology is crazy at this point. So whatever is going on in the atmosphere is definitely going to be affecting you, especially during Virgo season. And moving into... Libra. So the gentleman came up. For some of you, you are dealing with the male energy here. Can be younger than you with the child. Can also signify a new beginning. This is a new person entering your life. Yeah, look at this. It fell on the contemplation card. So it feels like this gentleman is really having to go through some period of contemplation where they're not speaking they're just contemplating and reflecting in order to find clarity yeah you see they're not coming forward with the fox why is it so blurry they're not coming forward with the fox they're hidden And then we have burden. I think the fact that this is hidden, something is hidden, the fact that he or she is not revealing themselves or, or expressing themselves or being really contemplating and, and taking a step back from the connection, I think it's really weighing heavy on, your, on you. And that's where the Ten of Wands comes in, right? Something is just too heavy to bear and it feels like you need to readjust your, your moves here, Virgo. Redirect your attention. Let's get some mermaids. What other messages do the mermaids have for Venus? Uh, for Venus, for Virgo, acceptance. It's about you accepting the way things are. Being in a place of acceptance means that we're not in a place of resistance and therefore we can be in an alignment with the experiences and the people that are for our highest good. 
the future for align to align with the future what's for our highest good we need to accept the present discernment maybe this is what this person is doing as well they're trying to discern what is best for them right now and maybe this allows you to do the same thing you're acting as a mirror discerning means you're really looking at what is not working versus what is working and the red flags you're looking at the spirit looking at the signs you're being open to what is being presented to you you're not closing your, your eyes be spontaneous yeah we keep getting these these messages about being spontaneous and free-spirited and really being in this energy of allowing and being around people places and things that help you to raise your vibration through laughter and playfulness i think that's going to help you a lot and i think this is what's lacking in virgo energy right virgo energy is really planned and organized and wants to you know looks at the fine print and wants to clear the way and wants to clear the clutter and wants to organize and wants everything to be perfect but there's only room for spontaneity because we don't know what the future holds and we need to accept that in the month of september and this is what it's going to take for you to realign maybe with this gentleman oops there's another mermaid card that showed up here. Dive deep. Interesting. Look for a sign. Wow. The signs are going to be lit in September for you. Signs are being presented to you in September. There's something better. Interesting. Yeah, you need to let something go, it feels like, because it did land on the release card and the sun. So this is you getting clarity, and the signs are going to give you that clarity, that understanding that something better is on the horizon. Don't stop. Don't stop reinventing yourself. Don't stop working on yourself. You're almost there. Forgiveness is also coming up for the month of September. Really purging and releasing, right? Helpful people. Forgiving the people that let you down. Unlikely. So when this card comes up, Virgo, it's usually, it usually means... Um, Whatever it is that you're asking or wishing for is not going to occur in the way that you think it will, okay? So whatever idea or, or again, at the very beginning, I, I told you guys, I felt that this thing about this vision that you've been having is not going to look what you've been hoping in a sense. It's, it's, it's just going to change. You need to be spontaneous. You need to be in the ebb and flow with things. You need to allow things to unfold. You cannot control the outcome. You cannot control how it happens. So this is what I'm saying. Be careful with how you are very fixated on this vision that you created, this image you've created that's provided maybe a false sense of security and its illusions. Because Pisces, the full moon in Pisces can bring up illusions. Yeah, playfulness. You see how I was going off about that? So we have calling in your soulmate, playfulness. That's how you're going to align with your person. And if you want to check out my, interesting, you want to check out my calling in your person bracelet, that is available through my website. It is, and it's all about surrendering and it's all about aligning with your true self in order to align with your person, right? You cannot find your person if you haven't found yourself. So this is what calling in your soulmate means. Your prayers, affirmations, visualizations help bring you together. But this is aligning with your true authentic self. It's being able to shed the parts of yourself that have been deeply conditioned in the last few years and decades. 
Now, though, you know, it's that part of yourself that constantly wants to control the outcomes of things. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold un in a natural way, right? Naturally. So that's how you're going to be in alignment. That's how you're going to call in your person. By letting go of how it happens and when it happens and with whom it happens. Playfulness, like I said, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Yeah, this is going to be your, the title of this video, I think. You know, spontaneity, playfulness. This is going to be a challenge for Virgo energy, right? But we are all being challenged to let go of something that we thought was going to pan out and it didn't and it doesn't. And maybe this is just a lesson in discernment and a lesson in how you need to let go of the outcome and be in the now. So guys, I hope these messages were helpful. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing if you're new to my channel and uh, leaving a comment if these messages resonated. If they didn't, please check out your moon, your rising, your Venus and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. It, will be, it would be my pleasure to give you a reading if you need more personal uh, guidance. Have a great month, Virgo, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.